welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing NVIDIA. So on Friday, I called the 640 NVIDIA calls that expired this week. It was a great trade. It was a great call. Again, you couldn't get out of it Friday, but of all the things that I like, this is one of the things, again, you can't hold every trade to a piggy target, but this is one that you could hold to a piggy target. You could still actually be in those trades. I think it's fine. There's no way that's going to go any, there's no way this is going to go against this. In fact, this is something we should talk about tomorrow in the room. But again, I'm watching a plane, I'm watching a really big plane go by this building. It's so close to this building. Uh, um, but anyways, you could be out today, but it's going to go to 700, which I did say in the room this morning, it's going to 700. And then I called the 700 calls too. So the one thing about NVIDIA is it's very, 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 very expensive. Sometimes I look at it and I said, well, it's cheaper than I thought. And sometimes I look at it and say, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, but again, let's go over the Friday. So this closed on Thursday at 6.30.27. Boom. Ran up in the morning. Open. Right basically at the strike that I called it. Ran up. Ran up and ran up into the close with the market and pretty much everything else on Friday. Great earnings out Thursday night that rocked this market to its core. And you could have got out in this beautiful green extension bar Friday. Called it a weekend. Booked the money. Been done with it. If you stay through it, you got the profits today. Some people did. Some people got out. Again, nice trade here if you booked the money. Could have done the new trade today. I called here the 700s, but I said this morning it's going to 700. I called the new trade. And again, I don't think it's a problem if something's this far through the strike. It's like $60 for the strike. I think it could be in the 640s anyways. But you could have booked the 640s and took the new one today, and that's up to you. So. But again, none of these, none of these are cheap. I mean, they're just not. And when you take a trade, when you take any trade, a day trade, a option you've got to size your risk accordingly someone said what do you mean by risk i mean choose the amount of money not the contracts not the shares you say i want to risk 500 dollars a trade all right well you can't do the video you're, you know it's just this this is going to cost more than you can afford but that's okay you do the other trades again i have a busy newsletter Ooh, did you just see that invisible tick oh my lanta wow i just caught that here you see that does, does everybody see that right there in the square? The top of the square, it says 71270. Do you see that? There it is. That's an invisible tick. Oh, my Lantia. This is pushing up tonight. This is up in the after hours here, actually. That is what I call an invisible tech. It's not a real print. It's an invisible tech. <laughs> Just lost my train of thought. Anyways, I said this was going to 700. So we were discussing this in the room this morning. You can't hold every trade forever. And I'm calling a lot of trades. It's an active, active, active options newsletter, lots of trades. But again, if I call multiple trades and get out in one, take the other. In this case here, because it was, this is never going to go where, anywhere under 640 in the next five days. So you could still be in it. And I said it was going to 700. And this is probably going to gap up tomorrow. It's gapping up tonight. Wow. So we just saw an invisible tick live. And there it is. I'm going to write that number down. And we'll see where we are tomorrow, people. I mean, here it's 5 o'clock almost. This could go to 700 tonight. This could be at 700 tonight in the after hours. I wouldn't even put it past it. Yeppers. Well, I'll look at the targets for this tomorrow, but this is a nice Gap Options newsletter call that happened quick. 24 to 48 hours. Could have taken it Friday, got out. Could have taken it Friday, got out today. Could have taken it Friday and could still be in it. So lots of people ask me, well, how long do your trades last? as long as they last. I mean, if the trade had not gone Friday, if I was down in the trade Friday, which I wasn't, but if I was, I would have held it through the weekend. So I don't kill trades. My stop is my risk for my options. If I lose in it, I lose. The whole thing goes bust by the end of the week. Like you got to give the trade a chance to work. If it goes green though, I'm not going to let it go bust. I'm going to book it. I'm going to book profits in this at some point and it could be tomorrow. So this could have one big, nice, fat gap up tomorrow and run, or it could open tomorrow, gap up really, really big and sell off, in which case you get up 
you, you get out and the gap up. So again, one of the reasons why it's so great doing options is you can capture overnight moves with a limited risk and you can trade a stock like this, which we're not day trading. You, you know, we did like one trade in this, I think, and it just was too whippy. You, you, these stocks are so much better and so much nicer, even at the price points that they normally are, so much nicer to trade as options. And, and really there's less whip, you know, day trading a stock like this. And we, like I said, we did, it was, it's a whip, a whip, a whip. It's just too much whip. And even the spread, even though there's a spread in the options, that's a heck of a lot better than the spread of the day trade. So and it was exciting to me seeing the visible tick tonight on this way over 700, over 710, 712 and change. We'll see where this goes tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great night, everyone.